something that we found in this dinosaur, which we really did not expect, was stuck somewhere where you really wouldn't want to look for another specimen. It looks like we have a crocodile which has found its way inside our dinosaur. How had it got there? It's quite possible that our crocodile was scavenging the hadrosaur and actually bitten out the backside of the animal, crawled up the animal's backside, got stuck inside and effectively drowned in a mummy tomb. So it's like the Russian doll of fossils. We have a fossil within a fossil. That is wicked. One thing that has come up since the program has, has gone out from the CT scanning is quite remarkably that the dinosaur's backside is even bigger than we previously thought. So this poor dinosaur would have you know, had to suffer for, does my bum look big in this, every day for the simple reason it, it did have an enormous backside. And this has implications for understanding the centre of mass, how our animal actually balances, and also the volume of muscle associated with the legs and how fast it would have run. And our hadrosaur comes up with a running speed a little bit faster than that of T-Rex, which was one of its contemporaries. If it was slower, it would be the easiest meal on the planet. We are absolutely sure that this dinosaur was one of the loudest farting dinosaurs on the planet for the simple reason it had a vast gastrointestinal tract. So one of the really reverberating sounds of the late Cretaceous landscape would have been belching and farting dinosaurs. I'm sure they would have communicated it as well, but it's unlikely they would have used belching and farting. <laughs> so I can't do it with a straight face anymore. Because <laughs> your face, you're just going, he's taking the now. <laughs> it's true though, they did. That's why it's so funny. <laughs>